you and Mr. Perry have a child together who was how old? Six. You and Mr. Perry were never married. You have a custody arrangement. Was the custody arrangement ever formalized by a court? Yes, I have that I'd right like here. I'd like to take a look at it. So you created this agreement. It's a total joint custody agreement. Correct. Which means that your son... Daughter. Hmm, daughter? Yes. Spends half the time with you and half the time with her father. Correct. And there is no child support order because of that situation. Correct. That each of you is going to work and support the child when the child is with that person. Right. And the other will support her when she is with the other parent. Correct. And that in the odd years, who can take the child as a dependent? I was odd. And you could take the child as a dependent in the even years. And this is the situation, that Mr. Perry claimed the child in 2017. Correct. And he received a refund of $6,000. Yes. And you want your half. Yes. He already gave you $1,000 at some yes, point. Did. So you want the other $2,000. He has a counterclaim to get the $1,000 back because there were some changes in circumstances. You were in jail. For three months, yes. And for those three months, where did your daughter live? With his grandparents. Who does he live with? with technically. Grandparents. Technically, his grandparents. He's Fine. not there very often. That's whatever. They were with their father. Okay, that or was... their father's family while you were in jail. Right, that was 2018. Should... The child was with her father in 2018 for more than his 50% of the time because you were in jail. No, he was, she, she was not with him for more than 50%. For the three months that you were in jail, she was with her father. By the way, were you in jail for a sentence or were you in jail pre-trial? I was in jail for a sentence. For what? For possession. Possession of drugs? Yes. Was this the first time you had been arrested for drugs? No, Your Honor. And when the child's living with you, who do you live with? I live with my mother, my sister. Where are you living now? With my mother and my sister. And who does the child live with? She is with me most of the time. Is that right? Yes, but the order says that it's supposed to be a joint custody, so half and half, but she doesn't like to bring her back most of the time. Your Honor, nobody drops her off to me. I have to pick her up, so I don't feel like I should have to bring her to him. Nobody knows where she lives either, so. They do all have the address, well, actually. Well, Mr. Perry, do you work? Yes, or no. not right now, I don't, but I... He does I did for... <laughs> when did you work? All of last year. Who did you work for? I worked for Apex Auto Body. What happened to that job? Um, I just kind of kind of quit. Why? Because uh, I wanted to be a painter instead of a detailer, and I wasn't able to move up, so I'm going to start looking mm. for something else where I can paint. Crossing my eyes. Who did you work for in 2017? Uh, Westwood Inn. From when to when? It was from um, April to, like, October. Uh, right, no, right, right around November. Westwood Inn is where? It's in Lakewood, Colorado. What were you doing there? Waitress. Full-time or part-time? Full-time. You worked there from April until? Like, November. What happened to that job? They closed the night shift. They started closing it at 3 p.m. So that was my shift. I now work for my sister on the Max Shack food truck. You still involved in drugs? No. Did you go to a program? Um, I do. I, I actually go to classes and I do UAs. I'm on parole, so... How many years parole do you have? One. Are you regularly drug tested? Yes. Well, Mr. Perry, I have to tell you that I think that it's unfortunate that this little girl has two sort of marginal parents. But you had an agreement. Right. And your agreement was that in the odd years, the plaintiff was entitled to take the child as a tax deduction. You worked some, she worked some. It's not as if you're a regular worker. You quit one job before you had another one. And who knows where you actually live? Do you have a girlfriend? No. If I were to ask your mother, would she say you sleep there every night? No. As I said, too bad that this child has two marginal parents. You have no defense to this action. You owe her $2,000. You had a contract. The contract provides that she is allowed to take the child as a deduction on I the odd years. I just don't understand how she could take her if, she, if she's in jail. Very, Nobody very... knew that she was going to be able to claim. She was sentenced to nine months and then gets out in three months. And Why didn't you ask her? Because she stopped calling. Why didn't you ask her? Here, she was going to have her sister file taxes to claim our daughter, which is not, I'm pretty sure that's not, not legal. No, my sister was going to file my taxes. She was going to do my taxes, not claim her. Yeah, you owe her $2,000. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,000. We're done. Thank you.